Greetings ladies and gentlemen. In the last video I introduced you to the blend add-on in order to combine it with automatic 1111 and stable diffusion. But I'm going to give you a few examples so you can uh, how you can use it in your own project. It's a bit easier to show it because it's quite abstract sometimes. So I will go in and start with possible 2D applications and finish with 3D use cases. So let's begin and first of all I'm going to add something to work with and delete everything I don't need. Uh, Blender has an add uh, a possible import option, it's called images to planes. So you can go in and import textures and the like directly into Blender and it's converting it into 3D space and the correct material and the UV maps and so on are automatically unwrapped. So we go in and choose shadeless so we don't have to worry about lighting and go in and import the object. So you can see it's blocked. Let's remove the cube and the light. So because we don't need it and apply texture space shading so we can see which direction it faces and we go in and just rotate it so we have 90 degrees angle to work with as such and now we choose the camera and go in and clear the location and we're gonna clear the rotation. So we don't have any wrong rotation or slightly different off location. Then we can choose to only view everything in orthographic mode so we can better work with 2D use cases so we don't have to worry about the third dimension and if you press zero you can view the camera view and now you see we can yes work how we want to use it for different things in stable diffusion if you render this by itself it's going to Fill the background with a color that you choose, like this gray, or completely black. Or you even can go in and apply transparency, then everything which is not a texture or model is, so the background is going to be a transparent part. So you can go in and layer it over other images, for example. And yes, you can arrange it how you ever, however you want. And also you can adjust the spacing and the aspect ratio, for example. Like you can even go in and go, uh, choose a one-to-one -one ratio, like 2048. And as you can see, it's actually resizing it, the camera itself, and yes, scaling and everything you want is going to translate into the image you render and then you can go in and let the KI do its thing with prompt. You can basically change how the KI works by basically give a background or something to work with. It's far easier for the AI to create something more personal or what you want, even if it's simple as two different shapes, like the background here, it's black, and the circle, that would be two different shapes out of this image, but the AI could really go in and just work in, inside of the circle, for example. It just knows how to start and it gets better, better results. 
uh, in the next one I will show you how to maybe even go further in and use it for animation. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.